What's up everybody? Welcome to Redline Outdoors. I appreciate you taking time out of your day and watching this video. Well, as you can see, it is cold here in Louisiana. We've had lots of sleet and light snow here in the past uh, couple days and it's iced over. It's still cold. We're thawing out. Things are looking better here. So just got through coaching a little bit of CrossFit. My wife and I own that gym back there. So if you live local, hey, y'all come see us. Hey, it's getting time for fishing season. I wanted to share a little bit of crappie fishing with y'all that uh, a couple fishing trips that I'm going to accumulate in this next video. Make sure before you leave to hit that like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it if you join along with me on Redline Outdoors and enjoy the journey with me. So appreciate y'all tuning in. Thanks. Here we go. The crappie extravaganza. How you say that? Extra, extravagant. There we go. Extravaganza. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Trading that gold for silver. Yep. That's that pawn shop color again. Pawn shop gold. What do you think about that one? That's the way you do it, man. Yep. Good job. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Redline Outdoors. My name is Adam Sanders, and this is my YouTube channel. And here I am on beautiful Lake Darbonne in Farmerville, Louisiana. And I am about to meet up with William Whetstone. He is a professional crappie guide here on Darbonne Lake, Louisiana. And he's also a fellow fireman. So, Y'all stay tuned. We're about to get on these big crappie. You got quite the setup here. I say, bro. <laughs> from Puckaby. I got you. And this one's 14? Yep. That's a Dobbins? 14 foot Dobbins. Man, it's got a bait caster on it. Mm -hmm. I guess it don't really matter, huh? It don't matter. Just as long as it holds line. Spinner reels do good if you're fishing a lot deeper water. You can yeah. line out a lot quicker, but I actually right. I can let it out just as quick with that bait caster. Yeah. So what, what's this actual method called, what we're about to do? It's live scoping? Live scoping, forward facing sonar. Okay. Using live scope just to go out here on these flats or wherever these fish might be staging up at. Yep. And uh, targeting one fish at a time. I got you. I've never, I've heard of it a lot, but I've never done it myself. It's amazing as many as they've sold. Yeah. A lot of people still have never, you know, never done it or experienced it. And that's what I enjoy doing, showing people how to do it. Yeah, there's a lot of guys out there that have one and still don't know how to use it. Oh, I take people out quite often that have had it for a year, year and a half and still don't understand the technology. And I can take them out in a day and show them. And, and they can learn more in a day from somebody that really understands it than they spent the entire year trying to learn. Trying to figure it out. And, going and that's on. what we did when it first came out. We were one of the, some of the first ones in this probably in this area that even had one so at the time there was no information out there about it not yeah. even not even how to install it really mm -mm. so we got on youtube a little bit there's one guy that had some videos out not very many uh took a few classes at delta community college just rode around went with some guys that kind of knew mm -hmm. and just kind of went from there wasted almost a whole year thinking we knew what we was doing yeah so they had classes at the college on it? So yeah, they have some pro fishermen come in that they give uh, courses on uh, long lining, spider rigging, and one of them was teaching a class on uh, live scoping. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of the in and outs. Yeah. And it was very new at that time. Right. And uh, we just took advantage of everything that we could, any, any information that was out there, you know, we tried to go just to learn. But to be honest, best way to learn to do this is to get on the water every day and do it as much as you can right time on the water that's yep. what it's all about time on the water well, that's all i'm using okay i'm gonna put a plastic on this we've got a i like to run a heavy weight and this is 
probably overkill, but this is a half ounce tungsten Rougarou tackle weight, and this is another quarter ounce bullet weight below it. Okay. So three quarter ounces weight, and then I've got a one eighth ounce jig head on the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna put a plastic on that, but. And you got two barber stops on the bottom. Yep, I got two here basically to hold that weight. That's a lot of weight for one, mm -hmm. so it will slide a lot. But I found out that you put two, it'll hold them pretty stationary. It's, it's easier to use those barber stops than using a swivel in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what this allows you to do, you can see this on your forward facing sonar, you'll see it in a minute. You can see that very well, you'll see your bait very well. But this allows me to make adjustments in that water if the mm -hmm. fish is left or right up or down, I can make them pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And that line and that bait's going to move as I move the tip of that rod. So, right. And it's all about it's all about quickness. Catch you know, this fish are only going to give you one or two chances to catch them. That's it. Then he loses their attention, don't they? Oh, they're they're gone. I got gotcha. you. They're gone. <laughs> kind of like turkey hunting. Yeah. You, know, you might get one shot. If you get a second shot, you're pretty lucky. That's it. <laughs> you know. All right, guys. So the conditions today is probably going to get in the 80s. We've got about a five to 10 mile an hour southeast wind. It is a beautiful day, partly cloudy right now. I'm sure the sun will be out later. So this is perfect conditions to get some big crappie, white perch, soccer leg, whatever you call them, where you're from. You got smaller fish on the bottom, timber underwater, little ball of shad here. <clears throat> and the, the uh, transducers on the trolling motor. It's on the trolling motor. We're sitting right here, actually. Okay. And I'm scanning out 65 feet. Mm -hmm. I got it set on 20 foot deep, but this is the bottom right here, actually, what you're looking at. Okay. But I keep it at 20 foot. Big old ball of shad right there. That big, shad? That shad. Big ball of shad. If you're a catfish, you can throw a cast in on that right now and catch all the bait you want. Really? Yep. Right here, about 40 foot. 40 foot out. Yep. Okay. I got some smaller crappie staging here. Crappies stay still in the water, and they'll be up and down the water column. But then I got one that might be a little bit better on the back side you can just see a okay just see a spot there so we'll mm -hmm. sneak up they might not be very big but we're going to check them all we're flowing fishing so that's straight out in front of us 30 feet right now yep wherever the head of that trolling motor's pointing that's where he's that's at. where i'm pointing yep okay so i, I and then all you do is you <clears throat> take your rod like i'm pointing that way mm -hmm. drop it right here then i gotta focus just like a scope Okay. You see my bait and my weight right here. All right. Up or down. It's live. Live action. Live action. If we got to make minor adjustments left, right, up or down. That's just part of it, you know. I bet this is rough doing it in the wind, ain't it? It can be. Okay, I see your bait there. Three fish sitting on a stick up right here. Two fish now, one of them just left. Let's see the left one. Right there. That's gotta be one too. Right, son? So you want your bait, which is right here, to get just as broad as those fish. And I'm constantly moving because the wind's kind of moving mm -hmm. too. This is part of the game. Left. Keep it closer. Just keep it above. Left a bump. Left, 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 left. Keep going left. Right there. Got you. Yep. Yeah. Little dude. Look at there. Broke the ice anyway. That's right. That's pretty cool. First live scope fish. Alright guys, that's my first live scope fish. We had three sitting on that tree top about that size. So we gonna turn him loose. He's posturing up. Come on, baby. Get it. You get him? Yep. That's a little better one. Yeah, but it still ain't quite what we That ain't what we came for, huh? Not quite. Pretty fish. <laughs> there went one. 
it up a little bit, get a lift. Come on, that's, that is a fish. Yep. Oh, that's a heater. Slinger on the wind. Wind is pole stuff, ain't it? <laughs> hey. 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 Color it up. We might have to crank the live well up. Look at there. That's what we came for. There we go. Nice keeper there. All right. <coughs> Got the skunk out the boat. <laughs> I need to move my pole out the way. Look at there. All right. I ain't got the skunk out the boat. I'm, I'm, chasing, I'm chasing it around the boat anyway. Let's throw that sucker in there. That's what I'm we're in Louisiana. Yeah, we don't call much. We don't call much. All righty. There we go. Look, I, ooh, yeah. That's a good one, boy. That's a good one. Since you were busy. My man's on him now. <laughs> Beautiful. Open water fish, they can sense everything. Perch, they have that lateral line running down their body. They can sense that sonar. They can sense that trolling motor running. They can feel the boat pressure in the water. Mm. You jump down the bottom of the deck, they can hear it. They can feel it. It's amazing we ever catch a perch, to be honest. Woo! Looking. Oh, look. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Good fish. You see that? I ain't just hooking up and going to catch fish all day. Like oh, no. No, 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 no. I think I caught more fish back in the day with just a cork and a shiner. <laughs> now she's looking. You got her? That's a good one, son. That's a... so tight to that timber, it took a minute. That's a mama there. Line in one eye. Line in one eye, that's kind of what we need. Take it. Okay, there we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Good job. Oh. Average man. <laughs> that was good there. I like it. Gold. Pawn shop gold, what I call it. Cash is some gold for a little silver. Absolutely. That one we're at. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Stick it 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 Slow rise, not much. She got you. Nope. Yay! She comes huh. to the top. That was perfect. <laughs> the sucker probably wasn't three feet deep when she bit it, was she? Uh, she take it away from her and make her warm. She didn't want an easy meal. Playing hard to get. There we go. Fishing the blind, you fix to come up on one of them, actually. Right there. Yep. Just a few of the bubbles. 
Oh, yep. I'm all hung up. Look at this. 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 I'll tell y'all what, there's a learning curve to those four, 14 foot rods. No thanks. You can grab that line. As you're picking up, stretch that line and snatch it right in the boat. I'm using a 14 foot. He said he's got an 18 foot one at home. That's uh, I'll leave that up to him. Coming up on a few more good fish up here, it looks like. She's already getting kind of iffy. Got one looking. Looking, 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 posturing, 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 posturing. Get, get. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's see if I can get this. Nope. All right, one line here. Oh. <laughs> ain't nothing to it. Ooh. Hey, so like, just like it. All right, show me how to do it. You ready? Yep. One line here. Look, arch your back. Bring them up. And then drop it. And then hit your partner in the face with it. You'll be watching, huh? I'll be watching. I've been hit too many times. Part of it, huh? Oh, I know it. I love it. They starting to bite now. They coming up a little bit, but kind of settling down. I don't have to give them time. Another nice one, guys. We are putting them in the live well now. I agree. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a, that's a slab, son. Yep. The one you've been looking for all day. That's it. Thank you, sir. Good job. That's what you call Darbone Donkey. Mama gonna make you cook something. Huh? I know it. Mother's Day weekend anyway. I know it. I tell you what, y'all, this right here, it's fun. It ain't like what a lot of people think is just dropping it down there and catching them. There's a the heart to it. I've, and I've, I've seen that. So this man right here knows exactly where to put that bait to. So let's get back after him and see if we can catch some more. There he is. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Low flip, grab it. Bring it right up. Dang, boy. That one. That's a good one there. That's what I'm talking about. Trading that gold for silver. Yep. That's that pawn shop color again. Pawn shop gold. <laughs> Let's go try something there. Alright. Right here. Yep. Stay over to the right just that's good. Okay, reel it in. See the bait here, just keep reeling it in. Just keep reeling it in. Keep reeling it in. Okay, right before you get to it, pop it and kill it to it. I got you. And then when you get one rack, it's a slow reel. It ain't very fast. Slow reel. Slow reel till you feel something. There, Chase. I'm just hit it. Slow reel. 
There you go, son. You can't teach a man something new. Look at there. Look at that. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I knew I had a bass fisherman in the boat with me. I love casting to the man. Look at that. You get a bite like that, nothing funny. Mm. I'll hang this a minute. You just hang on to that. If you want to. All right. <coughs> Caught that one casting with the old pawn shop. We're going to jack around and have a mess of fish. <coughs> Straight ahead. Yep. That's part largemouth, dude. Good. Well, I didn't know I was in a boat with field dance. Good grief. <laughs> Sucker's jumping. Flipping on in. She's up good. My dang. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I ain't never made one jump twice like a bass. <laughs> That's a good one, too. That'll be some good footage here. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at there. What do you think about that one? That's the way you do it, man. Yep. Good job. Let the wind push us back off here. Raise it up. Hold it up to his tail. Keep going left. Keep going left. Alright, down a little bit. Fish is looking. Get us. Get us. Uh, you woo! How you make them do that? I don't know. Let me see if I can get this right. You ready? <laughs> do it, man. <laughs> Every time I'm gonna get tangled up on this cord. All right, we out. All right. Heck yeah. Thank you, sir. You put me right on it. Good job. Good job. Bitch, you hard. That's a little fish in the mad too. He's just profiling right now. Chunk. <laughs> Doggy. What they do is they back up and they're looking at you just like this. It's like, kind of like they're winding that tail up. Then they just freaking snap. You knew. You oh, knew. Yeah. I didn't think he was going to come to it. No. When they posture up like that, you just hold still. Go for the ride. Right on top of it. She's looking at it. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> Heck, yeah. I see why she's biting for you, too. Look at her mouth. Yep, she can't hardly eat, man. That's a nice one. That's what we're here for right there. That's beautiful. Good job. Show us how to do it, <laughs> There we go. There we go. Let's get a double. I might take my bait back away from There you. we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, that's number one rule with guiding clients. What's that? You don't catch bigger fish than your clients. That's it. <laughs> that's good service there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right y'all that is a wrap our day at darbone is finished and it is barely 12 30 west on i had a blast yeah man y'all give my man a call for a fully guided 100 percent crappie trip i didn't have to do anything except show up with a cooler so he told me everything to do. I've never been live scoping in my life. I had a blast, so I appreciate it a lot. And uh, 
I'm going to leave his information in the description of this video. Y'all give my man a call. Darbon Lake. It's just Darbon Lake, right? Yep. I'm a crappie guy, licensed and insured on Lake Darbon. Hey, just give me a call. 318-355-0063. There you go. There you have it. Appreciate it again. You bet. That's crazy. Boom. On a jig. <laughs> jig in the lip. Y'all look at that. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Redline Outdoors. This is my YouTube channel. My name is Adam Sanderson, and I'm out here with my buddy, Jeremy Albritton. Y'all seen him on the channel before, but today we are after some white perch staging next to these docks, filling up on shad around these lights. So y'all stay tuned. Let's see what we can get into. Jeremy, what's you, up? You ready? I'm ready. Let's go get him. Let's get him. You have a bite? I did. I had a little bite. So did I. Felt like a brim. A lot of times <coughs> when they hit it, it's just one. That's all you'll get out of them. Oop. Brim. <laughs> you go. There's one. There we go. That's a keeper. There's a keeper, boy. That's what we're looking for. Right there. Beautiful. Three minutes and 45 seconds into our fishing trip. Just right. Just right. I'm going to catch your speed. Look at there. Yep. Seems like they're kind of over to the right. Yeah, I think they just now moving in. Not a big one, but you get a nice size feet lay off of that for sure. Absolutely. The, the Jeremy Albritton Fishing Show. <laughs> we might get you some sponsors. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> Broke the ice anyway. There it is. All the tape. It's on now, boy. Be still. We use him for bait. <laughs> there's times when there will be hundreds of them jokers down there. And there's times when that's all you'll catch. The ones, there the we go. Ones. Another brim. Big old brim. Heard him popping on the dock while ago. That's a keeper, boy. Oh, that's a nice one. There's one. Dang. We might have to keep him, boy. <laughs> sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. They can't all be trophies. Nope. <laughs> Sometimes the jokers will stage up on the outside of these lights too. Mm-hmm. In the they shadows. Just kind of come in and feed and then pull back out. Uh -oh. That's a good one. That's a that's, that's a brim. A <laughs> Sucker turned on the side. I thought that was a big old white perch. Look at there, boy. Look at there, boy. It's good enough to keep. Oh, yeah. 
Two for one, son. Mike should have brought some crickets. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. You got an old big boy there, didn't you? Something. I think it's another bluegill. He's a big one. No. Nope. He's out there on that right hand side, right there. I have to ease out just a little bit. I think they stay from a little further out. All right. What you think? He'll eat, huh? Oh, yeah. Let's put him in there with the rest of his buddies. We got a couple nice ones and a lot of small ones, but it's still fun. It ain't over yet. No. We ain't been here long at all. We're averaging a fish about every three minutes, believe it or not. Yep. At least the wind ain't blowing. Well, I better be quiet. <laughs> I think we're all right tonight, though. Oh, he knocked slack in it, son. Yeah, I mean, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all did what now? We uh, we used to the next one down. Didn't do much on it. Oh, uh, now they want to bite over there. <laughs> yeah. We didn't do much on it, but that first light we passed on the way in, we didn't get to fish it. There was people fishing on it. Was it? Yep, that's a keeper. Don't lose him. Okay, he had to come up here and get some sugar. <laughs> Let's make a move. All right, oh, that's, a good one. that's a good one. Oh, that ain't no crappie. You need a net? Yeah, we're gonna need him, but I'm gonna have to play him down. All right. I'm gonna have to play him down. I think it's a bigger thing. I need to bring him back up. Going around. I ain't gonna fall. I'm good. I'm good. Coming up right here. Oh, he's digging. <coughs> he's digging. Oh, he's gonna pop your line. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. That's a good bass. <laughs> That's dude. a good one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Get out back here. That's a real good bass. He ain't ready yet. He ain't ready yet. Hold on. Swing him this way. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. That's a good one there. Look at that. That's a three and a half pounder. Three and a half. Hold on. That's look a real good. That. One. That's crazy. Right Boom. On a jig. Jig in the lip. Y'all look at that. Good healthy bass too. Mm-hmm. Real nice one. Yep. We'll let him go. Oh yeah. Yeah, he chunked too. He's heavy. Heck yeah. There he goes. On a jig pole, there six pound go. line. Huh. That's how it's done right there. That's how it's done, boy. Yeah, that might be good under there. I don't know what it is. There you go. I think so. Yep. What's up? That's a deeper, too. Y'all, I got a, a light on this camera, but I know if I leave it on, number one, the bugs are going to eat us up, and two, the battery on that light's going to die, so... I'm doing the best I can out here. You just had to bear with us. I think we might have found a fish or two under this light. Jeremy just caught that big bass. I just caught that one 20 seconds later. I got hit. Ah! Oh! 
<laughs> Where am I at? Dang gone. Let's try that again and see if we can get a double. That's All a right. that's a keeper too. Yep. Better fish out of this one. I got a keeper here, son. Heck yeah. I got a double here. Heck yeah. We got a double on our hands here, boy. He showed up out of the back of the boat. Look at there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Don't make blow. I know mine ain't. <laughs> Let's keep him just for the heck of it. There you go. That's where he ain't gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't much more than a seed himself. That's right. Guys, we're on our third light right now. We caught a good amount of fish. They're biting a little funny tonight. But they are biting. But they are biting. So, I ain't gonna complain. Bass are busting in the in the background. That what? Oh, well, looky there! That's a keeper. He ain't a giant, but by no means. But As the old timer say, he'll stink up the grease. Oh, big time! Ouch! That's pretty. But it's a beautiful night. The wind's not blowing at all. Slick, calm. Couldn't ask for a better night. Yep. But these fish are just under these lights. Feeling up on shad. They wore out from the spawn. They trying to get their... It's bulking season for the crappie, so they hungry. Jeremy's got one. Look like something. That's a barfish. I ain't even gonna show you all the fish we caught. We caught a, a lot of tiny ones. I can only show so many fish in one edit. What? You can catch as many as you want to catch. That's it. There we go. That's a that's a good one. Yep. See if I can get one while you messing around with that one. Get you one, boy. Sometimes they feel a whole lot bigger than they really are. There he is. There might be a few fish under this light. Yeah, I can like it. Jeremy got one. Might just leave the lid open on the live well, son. <laughs> Ain't no point of taking all of them. No. Especially when, you, especially when you get home and go to cleaning them. So I want to point out something to y'all. If y'all will watch Jeremy's pole, instead of just leaving that sucker just sitting there, what he's doing is pitching it out in the darkness of that light and letting it drift down. And whenever he gets straight down, if you'll pay attention, he's keeping tension on that line when his jig falls and he's watching his line, but whenever his line gets right under his pole, he'll he'll twitch it to keep tension on that line so he can feel that bite that subtle bite that's what you're looking for if he didn't have tension on that line just not just now the way they're biting tonight he'd have never felt it sometimes you go up and come up under these lights or anywhere really you catch one of them if there's a school of them you can kind of get the school fired up and they all kind of go into a little feeding fringe they start getting under there and start fighting over it Ha, ha, ha. 
We own them now. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Fish are wearing a G. Yep. All right. I saw my line go limp on that. Nothing but doubles. Got a few doubles. Double. Your whole G. I'm gonna take that as a sign. Time to go home. Time to go home. Alright y'all. We made it back. We got the boat put in. Jeremy? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Come, I appreciate come it. With me. I look like a midget standing next to him. <laughs> Sasquatch. He's about, he's about six foot three. <laughs> something like that. Something. Something like that. I appreciate it, man. Let's go again soon. Oh, yeah. That's oh, all sure. I got for y'all tonight. So, appreciate y'all tuning in. And we'll catch y'all on the next episode. God bless y'all. Have a good night. Y'all get out there and go fishing. TV boy! <laughs>What's up everybody? Welcome to Redline Outdoors. We're out here on Washita River going after some crappie again. That's my buddy Timothy McQuillan. It is 95 degrees. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon and it's muddy out here, but we're gonna give them a try. We was able to get off of work for a little bit. Today we're gonna be using we're gonna be live scope fishing again and we're gonna be using Jinko products. This one right here is tickle fry. It is a two-inch pink ghost in color. And this is a one eighth ounce jig head. What's the name of it? Warbird. A warbird that is also made by Jinko. And then we have another tickle fry. This is a two inch Mississippi money. This is a sixteenth ounce head. What is this? Bladed slasher. A bladed slasher. We're gonna be casting that. We're gonna be casting this one. And this is what we're gonna be using on the vertical long pole. The vertical long pole with the live scope. So Let's see what we can get into. She can tow it, and Cypress wants to come down there with me. At the house? Yeah, she got a. Uh, she got a uh, board, I guess, down there watching me work on the water meter, so she towed the pipe wrench in the hole. That's a good looking bait right there. And I'm it's a good one, boy. All right, we broke the ice. Broke the ice. Jinko Warbird, eighth ounce paint, mm -hmm. tickle fry, Mississippi money. Right. In Bit the top it twice. Of the mouth. Bit it twice. Bit it twice. Look at that there. Yeah. Hey, thump it. Yeah, you did. Look like it. Mm. Dang it. That ain't good. Better get low? No, it's overheating. That's a toad, guys. Uh, 
my camera was overheating so I didn't get the hook set on camera. That's a good one. Jinko Slasher, orange, sixteenth ounce bladed. Mm-hmm. Mississippi money, tickle fry. Got let's, him. Let's see them shoulders. Alrighty. My camera literally just shut off on its own because it was overheating, so I apologize. I'm going to have to give it some rest. Perfect. Pick up. Rod tip up. <clears throat> oh, he was after it. Mm. I, don't, I don't think he knows you got him. Though, so let's Go ahead. Him. I'm all jacked up here. You got him. Mm. Bit it twice. He bit mine and missed it. Got that slasher in his mouth again. Now he got his. Whatever it takes. Teamwork. Yes, Absolutely. All right, you might get him there. How deep is he? He's three feet on the surface. You got to lift up. You got to lower a little bit. Turn it back. Yeah, he's real close now, so just hold steady. We're gonna try to. There's another one. What is that? The other one's probably more appropriate. Got him. That's a bucket, son. Take it straight. There we go. Mmm. Finally. I don't want to lose him. All right. Look at there. Oh, you a cheetah river. Oh, you a cheetah river. That's fish, yeah. Swallowed it. I'm talking about. That's what I've been needing this entire time. All right, so here's the deal. Timmy's probably got four or five in the boat, and he's casting. And uh, I've missed several. But I did bite, I don't know, a sixteenth to a quarter inch off of uh, my bait. And I just caught that fish. So we're going to keep trying it that way. Uh, if that doesn't pan out, I'm going to go to casting and uh, see what happens. So. Ah! Got him. There we go. All right. So I switched rods to that 15 foot rod because this, I think this boat was spooking them. So we decided to switch to that 15 foot rod to reach out there a little bit further. I was using a 13 footer, so. That's right. Darn, boy. Nice to see. That's a good one. See if you like that slash or not. He was, uh, he was under that school of shad, too. There you go. It's kind of hanging out in the shade back here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Drop it down see. a little bit. Right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Reel up, reel up. <laughs> good job, dude. All right. Oh, it pumps me up. <clears throat> All right. So I switched to casting because that boat was spooking them. We got another one under that school of shad right there. Uh, they seem to want it mo moving for sure. Got it, partner. God, that's a toad, son. <laughs> Goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That is a toad. I love it when a plan comes together. Tickle fry.
Mm-hmm. They was with a school of shad. We pulled them right out from amongst them. We're in 13 and a half foot of water. That fish was about two feet under the surface. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Good job, man. Yes, sir. That's a good one. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Timothy's on the phone. He finally let me catch a big one. Tell her I said thanks. Adam said thank you. He got to catch one. That's why I wasn't talking about it. making movies over here. But... Uh, what I'm talking about, boy. What do you think about that short rod? This one? Mm -hmm. I like it. You like catching them on the casting better? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but yeah. either way is fine. Yeah. Whatever's working, you know. It's a lot of fun. You get to yeah. fight them with this. Yeah, when you can catch them on that casting rig, you get a tremendous amount of fun. I feel like you picked up on position throwing your bait in that spot pretty quick most people struggle a lot with that yeah okay. like you did a good job with that. took me a trip or two and you gotta think fat you gotta think quick i mean with the casting a lot of people literally like say you're looking at a fish and he's say you're right there they want to do this because <laughs> right he's over there yeah he's on the right side of the phone like that's the majority of people in the beginning. They don't understand that it's looking from here out. Right. And then they, they get excited and they forget to pay attention to where that photo motor's pointing. How about them two right there, Adam? Let's see what you can do with that. A little bit, yeah. Maybe a little less of that. Yeah, I missed them. Say, hey, what you talking about? Wow. Good job, man. Let's see if we can get a double on here. Look at that slob. Look at that slob, son. Double. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's still there. I'm trying to get him for you. All right, catch him. Not yet. He's still there. Don't get it this time. He turned around with that thing. I can't quite get the right angle. So, get him to feel it good. See him? Yep, he's hard now. That's a big one. There we go. Alright. Oh, yes, sir. That's what I'm took, talking about. Took a few tries, but we got it. Yes, sir. Good job. Y'all get out there and go fishing. They are, they are hammering this little bait today. And, uh, as you can see, They've been wanting it moving, so we both swapped the cast, and then uh, we wasn't really doing much with the long pole. All right, guys, so what we're doing is we're going down through this canal, and we're just uh, looking for fish out here in the open water. And as of right now, we're casting to them uh, with these spinning reels and the uh, jig heads that I showed y'all earlier that I told y'all we was going to be casting with, the Jinkos. That's all we're doing. And he's uh, got glass beads on there and they only serve one purpose and that's to see in the live scope as it's approaching the fish. And you can see the bobber stop on the top and the bottom of that uh, last bead. And then his jig head right below it. So that's the reason for the glass. It helps out tremendously. So you can see it on your uh, live scope.
right, y'all, I appreciate y'all tuning in to another episode. As you can see, I'm here in the kitchen, and I'm about to fry up these crappie. I invited my parents over for supper. Hadn't been able to do that in a while. We just always super busy, and we are about to sink our teeth into some crispy crappie fillets. So make sure before you leave to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, the notification bell. We got some big things coming at Redline Outdoors, and I appreciate y'all coming along with me. So God bless. Y'all go fishing when you can, and we'll catch y'all on the next edit. Catch y'all later. Bye. Welcome to Redline Outdoors. This is my YouTube channel. My name is Adam Sanderson. As you can see, I just pulled out of work. Just got off from the fire station. It's knocking 6.45, and I'm about to meet my friend, Timothy McQuillan. And we are about to head to the Washita River here in North Louisiana and try our luck with the big crappie or little crappie, it doesn't matter to me. I appreciate y'all tuning in. If you're new to the channel, this is the type of content I put out. Just hunting and fishing stuff, redneck stuff, stuff like that. If that's stuff you like, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a video here on YouTube. So I'll meet y'all out on the water here shortly. y'all we have arrived to our first fishing spot we had a little boat run but uh this is my buddy timothy mcquillan and we're about to start off here shortly and we are going to be using we're going to start off using this jig head right here timothy what what jig head is this it's That's a, a one eighth ounce bonehead disco jig head okay and then we have a two and a half inch bonehead blue ice that's a finesse minnow bait finesse minnow that's a two and a half inch bait so that's a little bigger than most people are used to using but it matches the it really matches the minnow hatch very well out here from what i was seeing it's gonna be almost identical to what they're feeding on size wise yeah all right y'all there's that bait right there Similar to a, a flute. This is made by a bonehead. Two and a half inch blue ice. And they come 16 to a pack. And it's made in the USA. This is all open water suspended fish. When you see a crappie, more than likely he's going to be doing like this one right here. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of blinking going on. But you see the difference in how he's sitting and how these fish are moving? Yeah. All these blinky moving fish, mm -hmm. those are not target species. I got you. That's about a 10 inch crappie right there. Okay. Spoonbill right there on that screen. He's coming straight to the top. Right over there. Had a good look at him while I go. He's going to get sideways now. He turned sideways. There he is. Yep. It's a pretty big fish, too. Yeah, it is. Break the ice, dude. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Dang. Operator a, era. That was a good one, too. Operator era. He did get the stump, the gas <laughs> minnow. Yep. But uh, I just didn't make it happen. That's not. Right. That's all right. At least we know they'll bite. There you go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Broke the ice. Mm -hmm. Old paper mouth. Look at there. On the bone head. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. Got 
nice keeper. He ain't a giant, but he's a perfect eating I'm size. Fish fry. That's right. <laughs> That's what we want. She didn't jack around. Down just a tiny bit, right there. Start eating it up real slow. Ah, he hit it too. Dang it! He's I think I pulled it from him. Still there. Let's see if we can get his attention again. Pick up a little bit. Pick up a little bit. All right, hold it. You got it. I thought I had him, but then he just kind of <laughs> sat there. <laughs> I didn't want to pull it from him again. <laughs> he liked it. Yeah, he did. He bit it twice. Mm -hmm. Be still, boy. And I mean, notice some fish are relatively small, but that two and a half inch bait don't bother them one bit. Not one bit. Look at that. That's still that bonehead blue ice. Perfect size for them to eat. That's what I was catching yesterday. Most people were scared to throw a bait that big. But he bit it twice. What was that a ten inch fish? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, he, he liked it so much he ate it two times. He ate it two times. But I'm gonna go real quick with what we're using again. This is an eighth ounce bonehead. Disco jig head. Disco jig head. It's not made by bonehead. It is bonehead, yeah. Okay. It's called a disco it's, it's a, got that paint on it. I got you. It's a bonehead disco jig head, one eighth ounce. And then we've got a tungsten weight here. How much weight we got there? That is a quarter ounce tungsten. Quarter ounce tungsten. And we got a, a bobber stop on each side of that bullet weight with braid. So I'm using a Dobbins Hyperlite Special. And this is a 12 foot two piece rod medium heavy action this is pretty much a live scope rod and this is just a bait caster a rigid one three gear ratio and all that really don't matter but this is a eight one that's pretty quick Had a lot of boat movement going on but he didn't Hold the rod tip up high and go right. Right there. Pick it up just a hair. We're going to drift right over the top of his back. Pick it up just a little bit more. Go a little bit left. There we go. Come on. Got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Got him. These river crappie got a little bit more energy than those <laughs> darbone crappie. Yeah. Hopefully we get on some big ones and uh, really get the feel. feel for them. They're not the ones that we've showed it to hadn't messed around. All right, y'all, we are at our third spot right now. I think we've got three in the boat. Just hadn't quite found the numbers that we're looking for, but the fish that we have found, pretty much, they've bit, so we just need to find them. Right there. That's a gar. Oh, boy. Do -do 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 lift. Oh, he's coming for it. <laughs> he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, son. Oh, needle nose gar. They love a jig. All right. Okay. All right. There was another one with him too. Mm -hmm. He's still right there. Five feet. Oh, oh he didn't like that at all. Like it, but he's still down there. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he's a nice one there. Here, give me that. I'll put him up. 
Maybe you keep one. your eye on them fish. Got him. Pretty one. Another one on the old bonehead. <clears throat> May get him, get him caught. I hope so. Come back up like that. May be the recipe that I need him. Come on, baby. Oh, oh dang no. it, dude! He went back down. He's still here though. Let's see. He may not know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Sometimes you just let it sit, baby. Wow. <laughs> hey. He wanted that minnow. He wanted that sucker. Did he he hammer it. He, got it he hit it twice. Y'all look at that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted it. In the top of the mouth, son. He wasn't coming off. Mm -mm, he was not coming off. All right, we're headed to hole number four. Let's see if we can get him there. We're after about two fish per hole right now. So, but the fish we have put the bait in front of, they're in the boat. What's up? Mm-hmm. Feet out there. He's going right to him. All right. That's a little better one, son. How about that? Swallowed it, boy. <laughs> little 40 foot cast. So, I can get him to be still here. Right there in the mouth, son. Uh -huh. He swallowed it. Uh -huh. like it. That's kind we like to eat right there, boy. That's perfect. Thin and crispy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Watch it. There we go. There he is. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. That was a uh, purpose release there. Purposeful release. <laughs> we don't want him in the boat. Yeah. Not today. He's still fishing, fishing, fishing. 25 feet. All right, there you go. That's no better. Come on. Yes! Oh man, that feels better. Finally. <laughs> I wasn't even recording. That's all right. Just kidding. Real boy. Man, there's another one out there. Yep. All right, y'all. We're about to call it a day. It has done got hot. It's about 12 o'clock right now. So our wives shouldn't be too mad. We hadn't been gone all day. So appreciate y'all tuning in to another episode of Redline Outdoors. Timmy, appreciate you bringing me, brother. Uh, let's get on them another time, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. God bless. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. Hit that like button, the notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next video. Y'all have a good day. Bye. everybody welcome to my youtube channel this is redline outdoors my name is adam sanderson and i'm headed back out to darbonne lake in farmerville louisiana i am meeting my buddy jeremy albritton down there once again if you haven't seen the previous video of us night fishing for crappie go back and watch that now and come back and watch this one or just keep watching this one but i'm about to meet him down there right now and we are going to set a two hour timer and see how many fish we can catch. We're going for numbers. Any species counts. Because the other day we caught bass, barfish, bluegill, and crappie. Jeremy. What's you, up? you done started working on them fish before I even got here, boy. Couple. <laughs> All right, we got us a clicker here. We got it started on zero. The time does not start till the bait hits the water. We're targeting crappie, but 
all fish species count, no matter what. All right, I'm ready. Start the timer. Here we go. Lines in, anglers. All right. That's number one. Fish number two. Fish number three. Fish four. Dang, he swallowed it, son. Fish four. Fish five. Sucker. I done got cut by one of you tonight. What you got there, boy? Birch. Crappy. Where's this clicker? Wow. My camera wasn't even going. The whole time? He just caught a slab and I just caught one too. We just doubled up. All right. All right. Put him in there, bull. I guess. Well, I forgot to press record again. Oh, he's something good, too. Another fish. Is it? Be still, boy. <laughs> All right, there's two more in the boat. <laughs> you got some shoulders, boy. Another keeper. Mm -hmm. All right. Double. Hold on. Double. Double. Two keepers. 
Got Keeper, but it's a keeper. Okay, Bar. bar fish. Slab City. <laughs> What you got there, boy? Nice and crappy. Nice and crappy. 29. Get, pull it up, pull it up. You got a gar. Oh, dang. No, that was a gar. <laughs> yep, broke my line. I seen it running with it. About the time you said something. Dang, no garfish. Crappy. Broke my line. Let me see that, boy. Me, boy. Out. What's the time? Thirty-four minutes left. Yeah, let's go try one more. Get in there, boy. All right. Keeper. There's some nice ones on this light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He it up. Oh, another one. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Oops. Dang. <laughs> That's a bass. Jig has had it, but I don't want. I ain't got time. We're fishing running out of time on our two hours, ain't we? Yep. Ah! There's our timer. Alright. We're at 41 fish. But I think we're going to try to catch a couple of these real quick. Let's see. There's some brim popping under this light. That was our two hour timer, 41. It was a little bit slower than it was the other day. Crappy. There we go. I think it's a crappie. Yeah. I think that's a crappie. 
feels like it. Big, whatever it was. Get him. Oh, it's a big striper. Yeah. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap up today's video, and I can't see where I'm going because I got this bright light on. But as you saw, we put 41 fish in the boat for our two-hour allotted time. It was a little bit slower today, but <clears throat> we did catch a little bit more quality fish today. It was a successful night. Had a blast. Y'all get outside. Y'all go fishing. It's time to fish those dock lights and go catch some of them crappie. Feeling up on shad so that's gonna wrap it up today but i will catch y'all next video and thanks again jeremy for another uh, fun fishing trip and we will go again soon god bless catch y'all next time make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave hit that like button the notification bell thanks again <clears throat>